Hey, this is Evil Death Fan 102 back with more. Let's play Double Seven Knife Fire Part 11. And this is a bit different with the audio. Anyway, I may just you watch your scene first. Okay, this audio is basically gonna not lie because I've had way too many goes of this. So, um, you won't see my original attempts, but you'll see the attempts I did this this morning. So, yeah, um, this level is probably the hardest level up to now, but I've been told that it's not the hardest level of the game. Um, so basically, what, what, um, I like watch the video to help me with this because. I wanted some sort of advice, well not advice, but tips. And the tip was, instead of using the gun to punch, and I guess this is, that was just me trying to figure out how to punch. And then you just go to the guys, and you like punch them. But I always seem to punch them like down below. Down below. Um, so basically, that's what you do. Um, you have to like follow this. Punch this guy as well. Ooh, knocked him down. Might, might have fallen down the stairs, him. So, yeah, I had quite a lot of goes at this level, so that's why. The only ones you'll be seeing are the ones that I did today. I did die, so. But I, I've edited the video and everything and put it together. So, you will see all the deaths I had today. But, but I had so many goes, and I didn't want to just have a video of fails. So. I'll just let you know that but I did have lots of fails, probably about 20 fails um, back a few weeks ago. So, yeah, you press the action button on both of them, and then I just realized I needed to get some armor. So I came back in here just looking around to figure out where the armor was. And there it is. Armor is very wise to do, to pick up, especially for the end part of this level. Now I've made it, we made it so the whole of this level is in one part, um, which is handy. So we're on the second section now. I basically done a lot of editing with showing my deaths because it gets a little boring just on repeat and it takes up too many parts. So it's better just to edit and show my deaths. So you'll see some deaths in a sec. Movie section. Like right now, for some reason I end up shooting a guy like an idiot. Fail! And this is my attempt to try and um, get rid of that, but I had to watch a video to help me. Because it's um, basically a tip. Then I use that and I end up dying, as you'll see in a sec. Hello. I failed the alarm arrays. Great plan. Okay, this is the time I do it, so I'll, I'll leave it in the time I do it. Okay, let's put this guy right here. Ooh, yeah. So basically, you go to this, and if you press, I think it's a, is it R1 or the X button, I don't remember. You get the key code, and then you just take this guy out of here. Ooh. 
I guess punching is a, a good um, good tip to anybody who wants a tip. Just but just punch him. I don't know what I was doing here. Oh yeah, I was I was chasing this guy right here. This guy was aiming for the alarm, and I could have failed, but no, I knocked him out just in time. So watch out for those alarms right there, which we just passed. Now you've got to go into this place here. And you've got to basically um, use the Q worm and press the one button, and it will basically allow you to use the the key code on there, which is six seven four two for me. It'll be different for everybody everybody else. You get you get um, a different one each time. That was a little editing because I ended up on that. So yeah. Okay. Basically, I punched this guy right here. Again, I had to punch. Ooh, right in the face. So, <laughs> yeah, if, if any future parts are really hard, I will probably do it like this. Because, um, because I, I don't want to show, I don't want about eight parts of just me that dying. It's pretty boring. I don't want to just, I don't want people to sit through me just dying all the time. Because I'm not the best at this game. Okay, basically, if you use that, it will open up, um, open up the event. And then, if you use the grapple, then you have to do it where it's green. Um, it will link it, apart from for some reason. I don't even know what happened there, but oh well. Something happened, now you have to crouch down and go through the event. This is an easier way, I watched the video and found out. This is an easier way to do this part. Now you got to use the decryptor again on the vent thing, vent cage I would guess it would be, Cycle will I don't know what to call it, um, to get into here. And then you got to basically press the buttons again on these two, laser so that you can get out of here. I think some of this is just me being confused. Basically, you have to use the de um, decryptor. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing here. To get out of here. Um, basically, the decryptor will basically, I don't know, it, it like, it gets some sort of um, code which will allow you to get through the door without having to find the key, without having to find a code, sort of thing. If you press the R1 button near the thing, but well, I don't know what I was doing here, I was just being a goon. I just kept it in just because. So yeah, if you go to that right there, which I'm aiming at, sort of, you know, and press the R one button, it sort of gets some sort of code, which allows you to go through. I guess it's sort of handy because it means you don't have to faff about finding a code. So yeah, um, you can punch. Not blank if you want to punch blank. I think I go the wrong way here. I, I end up going down some random tunnel. Yeah, it's just here. I ignore the light and I just go down here to a dead end, really. A pointless journey. So, yeah, that was uh, just a pointless journey. Um, so, I hope that not all parts are going to be like this because it, w it would be cool to actually see some more of me doing it live but if every level is going to be super hard I'll, I'll 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 try doing the live thing and I'll just I'll just see how it goes but if I've died so many times I, I don't want to just do a whole part of, of death failure so I'll just um, see how it goes really but I, I did find this level quite hard well, at first, I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, here, here's a bunch of death, com um, death things here. I fell down again. I fell down the freaking area bit of tw thing twice. Then I died by a bunch of people. That was another death. And then, yeah, I kept the same because I wanted to show the scene. Because I got to a new part, but then I died again. So you can watch the scene. You don't understand. 
Drake couldn't help and make you safe without the password, and he's not going to let the Nightfire files live with you. These stairs go directly to the roof. You'll find a parachute in the helicopter. It's your only chance of escape. Dominique, if Drake finds you out... Do you think you're the <coughs> only spy you can make someone trust you completely? Smoochy, smoochy. Also, another point I'm going to point out is when you die, um, yeah, the blood is very like Call of Duty and a lot of other horror games too. So, yeah, but you all already know that, but yeah, I'm just pointing it out. Okay, this is the time I do it, so you'll see the whole thing. I think I miss it at first. Yeah, I miss it, so I have to wait here. I'm so sorry about making you wait. If you get your um, decryptor out first so that you got it ready for when you get top. I already I died twice with the section falling off. Don't ask how I did it. Oh yeah, the first time I was practicing jumping, I forgot how to jump. And I just I jumped off. That was the first death. And then the second death, I think I got to the top and somehow I ended up not on it somehow. And then I fell all the way down and that was the second death. But the third death was to do with the cable. It like it made the TV go all fuzzy and I didn't I couldn't see what was going on and I just died. And the other, the other death was because I just died in that area. So yeah, they're my deaths and the reasons. But instead of making you waste um, what would probably be 20 minutes just for a bunch of deaths, I just edited it all to make it more quicker. So you see my deaths but you don't have to witness the three hours of me getting to my deaths. Okay, so basically you've got to go through here and you've got to go That's through that door right there with the, the, the um, alarm. If you get through here you can use your decryptor on... I don't know what I was doing here, I was just going to see if there was anything else. Maybe books in the bookshelf. You can use the decryptor on that again. At first I didn't know what a decryptor was, I didn't really understand it, but then I figured it out and it's actually pretty easy easy to figure out. So you unlock the door, Bond. May you and then I went to room. here, Upload the -worm into it. Um, and not use the shaver. Use the Q-worm and now you basically go to a certain door, I'll show you when I get to it. What? Oh yeah, I was waiting for the... Uh, <laughs> the alarm thing to go and go by. And then I like went through quickly. This part is good to have um, armor because of all the, in it, the, the bad guys in, in a little second. Okay, so basically, this is like the easiest objective to do. It's a new objective, and then your objective complete. This part, just quickly go as quick as you can. It's only there. Okay, I, I skipped the scene because we've already waited in the state ones. It was a scene where we were smooching. Anyway, this part is simple enough to just go past quickly. If you have armor, the better. And then just get the parachute and then just jump off. And then mission complete. So yeah, that level was pretty difficult. But I did it in the end. And here we go to watch the scene. <coughs> Excuse my coughing again. Okay, so I got bronze my up. I did pretty shitty, but oh well. I managed to get through it. I mean, I'm doing this on some easiest mode. I am bad at the game, but oh well. Um, anyway, this is um, my let's play, and I do how I do it. You can't be good at every game. My reward was a Kiko or a Kiko or how are you saying it? <laughs> anyway, um, see you guys next time. Bye bye.